I started this video and then forgot to turn on my mic. So, we're starting over. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hi, my name is Vivian. I'm a robotics engineer with a love for all things beauty and makeup related. And today is a, another Shop My Stash update. So it is towards the end of the month of May. We are heading into June, and I just really wanna pick out some new products that scream summer to me. So if you guys like this type of content, be sure to like and subscribe if you aren't already, and let's just hop into it. If you guys are new here with my Shop My Sashes, I typically start off recapping all of the products that I had in my May basket, and I will leave a timestamp linked down below for you if you just wanna skip to me picking out new products for the month of June. We have quite a bit, so let's just get into it. The first item that I picked out is my Makeup by Mario, the Neutrals eyeshadow palette. I think this palette is stunning. The tones in here are really easy to work with. You really can't go wrong. They're super easy to blend out. They're not too pigmented, so it's a nice like builder, beginner friendly, I feel like. Um, the shades in here are gorgeous, obviously. And like I said, they blend out really nicely. You can see I dug my nail into this deep brown shade, which makes the palette less aesthetic at the time being, but I still think the palette is stunning, super easy to work with. I'm glad that I picked this up. And I like how compact it is. I feel like some palettes have a lot of just kind of wasted space. And I, I just like that all of the palette, or the whole palette is like, kind of like chocolate bar size. You know, it's nice and small and thin and it makes for a good travel palette. A, another thing that I picked out for my May basket is this from Danessa Myricks. This is the Yummy Skin Water Powder Serum. If you guys have watched any of my recent videos lately, that being, like my speed reviews or my May favorites, this has quickly become one of my most favorite products. I feel like it does such a good job of keeping my oils at bay. I don't think it blurs or anything like that, but I have noticed a significant difference in how oily my skin is towards the end of the day when I use this and when I don't use this. So I have thoroughly been enjoying it. I feel like I've used up quite a bit of it for how little of time that I've had it. So really big fan of this. I can definitely see myself repurchasing this over and over again. I think it's quickly become one of my like holy grail items. I think it just does such a good job of keeping my oils at bay. And I think if I like want to save this product a little bit and not like use as much of it, I can just focus this on the high points of my face, the oily parts, the T-zone areas, and I feel like a little bit goes a really long way. So I've really, really been liking this. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite products like of the year, which is kind of crazy, but I, thoroughly think it's just such a good product. I am really, really happy with this. The next thing that I picked up or that I picked out is the Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Swept, which is a bronzer shade, more of a contour shade for myself. I really like this. I think this product is super easy to blend out. It's nice and pigmented without being too pigmented. I love the texture of it, the consistency of it, and the way that I usually apply this, I'll put a little bit on my fingers, tap in, like the hollows of my cheekbones and a little bit on my forehead and then I'll take whatever is left over and just run it up and down my nose for a little bit of a nose contour. I think it blends out super easily. I can blend it out with the sponge, with the brush. It doesn't really matter. I guess I haven't really tried blending it out with my fingers yet, but I have a feeling that that would blend out just as nicely as well. Really good product. If you like the original Cloud Paint blush formulas, it's pretty much the same formula. It is the same formula, just in bronzer colors. So if you like the cloud paint blushes, you're probably gonna like the cloud paint bronzers. My one qualm with this is that I do kind of wish it came in like a doe foot or like had a doe foot applicator just for ease of application and not getting my fingers dirty. However, it's a good product. I like it. I am gonna continue to use it. I'm really glad that I picked this up. A product that is kind of a disappointment to me is this liquid liner from Half Magic. This is the Magic Flick liquid liner and the tip of it is really interesting. It has this like flat tip like this, but if you turn it on its side, it's quite thin and it is a felt tip. However, I feel like I cannot get a straight line with like a, a sharp wing with this. I have tried so many times. I just can't get it to work for me. And not only that, 
it flakes on me, which is really disappointing. I was really excited about this because the owner of Half Magic is the makeup artist for Euphoria and I just had high expectations and this did not meet the expectations. So a little bit disappointed in this. I'm still going to use it. It's still a liquid liner. It just is not as easy to use as I would typically like typically like and I think I would like something with like a brush tip more. The rest of these products, I have to be completely honest, I don't think I used that often. I did use the Dior blush quite a bit. This is in the this is in the shade Cherry. I think it's a beautiful blush. I use this as a blush topper on top of my blush that's in my project pan right now. So I do like the blush. I like the Dior blush formula to begin with. I love the shade 001 Pink and the shade 00 or 015 Cherry is just as stunning. Great formula, but you guys know that I love this formula and I've talked about it forever, so not many interesting things to say about this. Okay, another thing that I picked out is the Hourglass Shape and Sculpt Lip Liner in the shade Tempt 3. Um, I used this a couple of times. I don't think I needed to use this. You know, it's just a lip liner. I feel like I don't need to pick out a lip liner for my Shop My Stash. I think I only just did that because I had just finished up my lip liner in my Project Pan and I felt like I kind of wanted to focus on something, but I think from now on I'm just going to pick a lip liner that speaks to me at the time that I'm getting ready. So I think it's a good lip liner. I have no issues with this. I just don't feel anything special towards this lip liner. It's a lip liner. It's good. I used it. I just uh, don't have anything like revolutionary to say about it. Something that I still think is beautiful packaging but I just did not use very often is the Vive Satin Slip Lipstick in the shade Kink. I think I need to do a lip declutter very soon. I feel like my lip collection is getting a little bit out of hand again. I don't know how because I feel like I haven't bought any new lip products recently, but I, I just feel like it's massive. So that is just to say, I do like this formula. I do like this shade. I think the Vive lip lipsticks are very nice and I love the packaging. They're so satisfying to like magnetize the lid on. I think I only use this like once or twice though, which tracks because I don't wear lipsticks that often to begin with. It's a good product, just did not reach for it. And then the last thing that I picked out is this from Phytosurgeons. This is the Flash Fluorescence in the shade Fractal Freesia. If you guys are new here, Phytosurgeons is like a small indie brand based in Canada. I believe their products are stunning. I love my flash fluorescence eyeshadow. I feel like it's really pretty. It's it's like a really pretty eyeshadow topper type of shade. So I really like this. I'm glad that I had this in my shop, my stash for the past month. I probably did not get as much use out of this as I maybe could have. However, I did use it um, and I am still using it. So that's, that's that. It's a good product. It's a good formula. Just maybe should have used it a bit more than I did. That is everything that I picked out in May. Let's put these items back and then pick out some more items for the month of June. Okay. Okay, so this is my eyeshadow palette drawer. I I don't know what I want to pick out for the month of June. It's just going to be nice and summery. So I feel like I kind of want something fun, but I also don't know what I want. Maybe I'm just not going to pick out an eyeshadow palette. I feel like I'll just reach for one if I feel like it. I'm really feeling just like the glitter toppers right now. So I'm not going to pick out an eyeshadow palette. For blush and bronzer, I have reorganized this a little bit. I have this little cup with all of my liquids. And then these are most of the creams, powder, bronzers, or cream blushes and bronzers. And then these are more cream blushes and bronzers. Um, and then all of my like compact bronzers are over here. I think I am going to pick out this. I feel like it's been a while since I've used it and it is beautiful and it is June and starting to get summery again. So I want to pick it out again. This is the Tower 28 Bronzino in the shade West Coast. You can see I have a really big pan. I love this during the summer months. The glowy bronzer is beautiful. I love the tone of this on me as well. I just really like it and I want to get more use out of it. So I'm going to pick this out. As far as blush goes, 
I think I want to pick out one of these new Nabla blushes that I recently got. I think I'm going to go with this shade, which is Lucky Rose. If I can open it. This is what the color looks like. I think this will be really pretty for the summertime. I really like this. I like how small the compact is too. It makes it really great for traveling. Like I said, I am going up north for work, so I'm trying to pack as minimal as I can. And then I think everything else is just going to stay. I feel like that's enough for this thing or for this month. And I still have the products in my project pan to work on as well. So I don't want to overwhelm myself with options for highlighters i do still have the highlighter in my project pan so i'm not gonna pull anything out there i do have some bronze or some primers though that i haven't used in a while i think i'm gonna go with the l'oreal lumi glotion and just use this as a mixer with my moisturizer i really like this i think it is super blendable when you mix it with lotion and it just adds like a really pretty glowy bronze it's very similar to a lot of products that are out there now like the bronzy drops um this is definitely like a mixer though it does not look very good on its own but mixed it's really pretty so i'm gonna pick this out this is in the shade 904 deep glow by the way and then as far as base products i don't think i'm gonna pick anything out mainly because i am so so close to being done with my marathon minimalist stick i really just want to focus on that and like completely finish it and i'd rather just focus on that than try and pick something else to focus on so i'm not gonna pick anything out here i will be picking out some like lip products to work on though so i've reorganized this a little bit um i have my liners here some single shadows some more single shadows and shadow sticks some like glitter topper type things. This is all of my brow stuff and just things that wouldn't fit in like one of these. As far as these go, maybe I'll pick out the brown Nabla's Cupid Ariel arrow just to use as like an eyeliner i just recently got this in pr from nabla and i am really trying to test out the formula i think it's really pretty so far it's like really creamy and really easy to work with so i'm gonna pick this out and since it's the beginning of summer i am gonna pull out my freck noir i love this stuff so much i love the look of faux freckles in the summer i think it's so pretty so cute so i'm gonna pick this out as well and then i think i'm gonna pick out an eyeshadow topper and i feel like one that i haven't reached for in a while is this one from makeup by mario this is technically a highlighter it is their master crystal reflector in the shade bronzite uh -huh. looks like this it has kind of like a deeper gold tone base but it does leave a really pretty reflex still i feel like this would be really pretty in the summer as like a one and done eyeshadow so i'm gonna pull that out and i think that's pretty much it for this drawer i feel like that's more than enough to get me going for the month of june and then this drawer has become my drawer of all of my lip products so i have a ton of different glosses and stains on this side i have all of my bullet lipsticks back here and lip liners as well. I know I said earlier that I wasn't gonna pick out a lip liner, but I think I'm gonna pick out a lip liner to work on. And I think the one that I want to work on is this one from M Cosmetics. This is the So Soft Blur, Velvet Blur Lip Liner, if it will focus. Um, the Soft Blur Velvet Lip Liner in the shade Kitten. I feel like it's a really good lip liner and I want to work on it. So I'm going to pick this out and I think the shade will go well with any other lip product that I use on top of it. And then because it's kind of summer, I want something fresh and like something that will be really pretty and stain. Actually, I feel like I haven't used this in a while. I'm going to pull out my Merit Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oil. This is in the shade Cara Cara. It's like a little bit more of a of an orangey shade. Actually, that's a lie. I'm not going to pull that out. I'm going to pull out this one instead. This is in the shade Marrakesh. It's just like a neutral pink tone. I feel like this would be really pretty and I want something lightweight for summer i feel like this would be a good option and it's getting kind of old so i want to try and make use out of it before it gets like too old you know so i'm gonna pull this out and then i think i think that's probably it for this drawer as well i have a ton of lip balms back here that i'll reach for if i need them but i think everything else should be covered between the products that i already picked out this is everything that i'm gonna have for my shot my stash for the month of june i feel like we got a good variety of things here things that i really only pull out in the summer which i'm very excited for namely the freck noir and the tower 28 
bronzino i am really excited about these so i hope you guys are having a great day i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to like and subscribe if you aren't already i will see you guys in my next one bye guys Thank you.